Well, what I love about FMOD is it's kind of the cheapest way to go fast. And there's so much camaraderie in, in autocross, but also in FMA that everybody's going to come together and help you out with whatever you need. But I think once the helmet goes on, everybody's in their own zone and wants to be competitive with each other. There are standards for width and then also weight, depending on what motor you have. So each different motor, if you have more power, obviously you need to have more weight on the car. You know, there's always little changes you can make with, with power, exhaust, shocks, anything. It's, it's such a fun, like, plug-and-play car. I guess these cars are unique because they're still two-stroke motors. They still have carburetors versus fuel injection, so very mechanical and a little bit less electronic and keeps the mosquitoes away. <laughs> So the iPad has Solo Storm on it. That's an app that kind of tracks through GPS your course, so you can actually compare with your co-driver and with other drivers the track that you took and see if certain lines were faster. When I'm on the track, I try to just look ahead as far as I can because it's pretty easy to get behind on these cars because they're so fast. Every car is a little bit different in FMOD. That's what makes them unique. It's not just a stock class, so everyone's set up differently, built differently. So. Everyone can take different lines, so it kind of depends how your car handles and, and that'll determine the line that you take.